first series of the game, then 0 for 9. After that, what do you make of that sequence and overall the play? That critical yeah, it was a big story in the game, obviously, and uh, a really good start. 17 play drive, and you said it. We did a good job converting those third downs to keep that drive alive, and then we just did not do a good enough job after that and uh, weren't able to stay on the field like we needed to. Uh, some of them were manageable that we didn't make. Some of them were a little bit more challenging, but uh, that was a big story in the game. Jason, do you think your team is still confident? Uh, obviously, we didn't play well enough in all three phases of our team, and, and I think there are probably levels of confidence. And, uh, and sometimes when you have adversity, you lose a game, you lose a couple games, uh, that gets challenged. And uh, again, I thought getting off to a good start was good for us, uh, but they did a good job just coming right back and moving the ball, and they moved the ball consistently well throughout the game. So, uh, you know, again, there are probably levels of confidence. Uh, we need to play better. We need to play more confidently, and uh, and unfortunately, we didn't get that done tonight. Why do you think you seem to answer the adversity in game? Um, it, it, it's it's hard to it's hard to pinpoint that. Uh, I think there are probably different reasons. Uh, I do think that one of the issues we have on our team is guys are trying to do too much. And I think sometimes that, that creates problems, particularly on the defensive side of the ball. And, uh, and we have to just get back into uh, being more disciplined down in and down out. Uh, that's the way you handle adversity. Uh, you execute. And, uh, you know, guys are able to make some plays, but, you know, on a consistent enough basis, we just didn't do, didn't do a good enough job of that tonight. Uh, we didn't defend the run well enough. We didn't defend the pass well enough. They moved the ball throughout the game. Do you think the lack of urgency in the unusual situation hurts you at all? As much as you preach what you want to preach, you know this loss doesn't kill you. You're still in first place. You want to win, but you don't have to to stay alive for the playoffs. Yeah, again, I think what you're trying to instill in your team is those things are irrelevant. Uh, you got to come to work every day, prepare the right way, and go play the right way. And uh, give Chicago credit. They did a good job tonight in all three phases of their team. At different times, we played fine. Uh, for most of the game, we didn't play well enough. Uh, that should be independent of any standings or any playoff hopes. And then, and certainly that's what you're trying to instill in the football team. Pollard was inactive with the ankle. Do you detail the decision not to promote one of the two running backs from the practice squad? Why, why stay with just... Well, we were going to take Tony's situation to the game. Uh, he worked out before the game and unfortunately wasn't able to go. Uh, Jordan Chun hurt his toe the other day and, uh, and was not able to practice and would not have been able to play. And uh, Mike Webber actually missed practice on uh, the equivalent of Thursday and Friday with a death in his family. So he got back, was able to be at the walkthrough. We probably would not have made that move anyway. Uh, we were going to deal with, um, you know, Zeke was going to play in the game. Mays was going to, Jamez Alawala was going to play in the game. And then we had Randall Cobb and Tavon Austin if we had an emergency situation. What happened on third down where it was like when Zeke on, he sucked himself out, um, he was too pretty tired, and then Jamez was on the field third down and apparent miscommunication between he and Dak. What, what, what happened there? Yeah, it, it's a route that we run that the ball can come up depending on how the linebacker plays. The ball can come up before you get to the linebacker or after you go on top of the linebacker. And uh, the way Dak saw it, the angle that the linebacker took was higher, and he was going to spit it out to Jameis quickly. And then Jameis saw it as he was coming downhill. I'm going to run past him. And that's really where the miscommunication happened. Jason, do you think your team, do you think your team played hard tonight? Yeah, I, don't, I think we played hard. We didn't play well. Uh, we didn't play well enough. And uh, at different times, we did some good things. But uh, on an overall uh, team basis, we didn't play consistently well enough. And, and give the Bears credit. They, do, they did what they needed to do to win the game. We did not. What bothered you most about the defense tonight, just from the overall game? They consistently moved the ball throughout the game. Uh, they were able to run the football uh, with their runners, their quarterback runs. Uh, they kept drives alive. They made timely plays in the passing game. They cashed in when they got down in there close. And uh, we just didn't play well enough defensively, really, in any part of it. Jason, your job security has become a massive focal point for this franchise nationally, locally. Do you think that's a distraction for these players right now? Yeah, I can't speak to that. Um, you know, the, the, the most important thing we have to do is learn from this game and get back to work. And uh, 
we'll be off this weekend uh, because of the Thursday game, and we'll get back to work on Monday uh, with our players, and our eyes will be our, our eyes will be forward. And uh, again, learn from the experience and move on. Get ready for the next challenge. What did you say tonight about Brent Maher? <coughs> Missed the field goal, kick out of bounds. Yeah, obviously you have to make the kick. And, uh, you know, we've had that instance the last couple of weeks where you drive the ball and you're going to get yourself in a position to be competitive in the game and we're not able to cash in on the on the drive with the field goal. Uh, in regards to the uh, to the ball that was kicked out of bounds, we were trying to kick the ball away from 84. He's a big-time player, and uh, he missed it a little bit left, and it scored it out of bounds. So obviously not what we wanted in that situation. Was that an onside attempt uh, there? Prior to your second to last touchdown? Second last one, yeah, it was. He was going to try to bang it against the guy on the front line. You guys are six and seven, Jason. Do you think you're still a good team? Or is the reflect or is the record what you are? Yeah, the record is always what you are. Uh, I think the biggest thing we have to do is focus on what we need to do now. Uh, obviously a disappointing night. We didn't get the job done tonight, but we have to learn from the experience and get ready for the next challenge. Do you think the players are still buying in? I do. It makes you say that. Yeah. I just see how they come to work every day. I see how they practice. And uh, you know, unfortunately, we didn't carry the practice work to the game. Jason, anybody who says players have quit, have checked out, they're not buying in, what do you say to that kind of thing? Yeah, I don't believe that. Do you see a little bit, you, you alluded to this, sink when something goes bad in the game and things snowball for a little while? Yeah, we have to be tough for handling the adversity of the game. And the best players and the best teams are able to do that. And uh, it's the National Football League. There's adversity waiting for you every time the ball is snapped. The guy across from him is a really good player. And, uh, you know, at different times in this game, I thought we did a good job executing, moving the ball, making stops, whatever. Uh, and, and then at different times, we didn't. And, uh, you know, we, we have to do a better job when they have some success. Stop it, okay? Come back to our execution. Somehow, some way, make a stop. Get off the field. Somehow, some way, make a play. Keep the drive alive. We didn't do that consistently well enough tonight. On defense, it's been around and played a lot of uh, football for you guys. Is it surprising that they're taking themselves out of gap responsibilities or missing tackles or, or trying to do too much and trying to do everything? Yeah, again, it goes back to that. Uh, you just have to make sure that you're disciplined down in and down out. Uh, any style of defense that you play, it's critical uh, that you understand what your role and responsibility is and you do it. And, uh, and oftentimes, you know, some guys want to go make a play. I'm going to go, I'm going to go sack the quarterback. I'm going to go make a play on this run. And, and that gets you out of your gap, and ultimately that's what hurts you. So we just simply have to do a better job of that on a consistent basis throughout the game. Thanks, guys. All right. Good to see you guys. Press that open a little bit.